Dear distinguished guests, researchers, colleagues, students, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It gives me a great uh, pleasure to welcome you today to the second day of our open access event. Open access, a multiplayer game with, which has to be ended as a multi-win situation. Open access publishing of the information, either scientific research or scientific data, is not merely an issue of an obligation by its parties. Instead, it is most importantly an issue of, norm of morality related to human values, human rights, and human need for development. Without readily and low cost access to the information and extend to a good educational system, the chances for the development of a society are seriously endangered and at least limited. We cannot keep producing knowledge, most of which stays within the goals of academia or remains a privilege only for certain categories of people. Research and knowledge has to be relevant to the real world and has to be easily available to the real world. As the University of Cyprus Library, we have been involved and promoted the principle of open access to our university's research and learning processes and have already developed our open access infrastructure by establishing our local repository. Definitely, there are many and more actions and synergies needed to be ensure continuous development in local, European, and international level. The main role of the academic library is an exchange in, in principle, but during and even beyond the information revolution, this role must be affected in a various new ways. The challenges of offering open access to the academic scientific research and data is without a doubt one of the new fundamental challenges we will face as a library community in the years to come. It will eventually reform our role and our involvement in the sharing of knowledge and reshape our mediation in the education system in general. As one of the principal national organizations dealing with academic research, we are involved in different important open access European projects, such as Open Air, Pasteur, Open Air 2020, Foster, aiming to educate and disseminate information for the value of the open access. We are also actively involved in the process of creating and establishing a national open policy in collaboration with other national and European key institutions. The International Open Access Week give, us a, give to everybody the chance to learn more and share experiences and knowledges on all issues related to open access. Yesterday's speeches were enlightening and great interest. Today's speeches deal with more practical issues, which are also very important to the librarian profession, but also useful for researchers. We are eager to listen, share, and learn more. I would like to close my express, by expressing my warm thanks to all of you for your presence here in this event. I'm sure that from your posts uh, at your institutions, you can positively contribute towards the development of effective open, open access policies and practices, and furthermore, towards creating an open access culture in our country. Special thanks to our speakers for their contribution and being so open in sharing with us their knowledge and experiences. Last but not least, special thanks to my colleagues for their efforts in organizing this event and more specifically to Sylvia, who has coordinated everything successfully. Thank you very much and I wish to have more to say uh, the next year about uh, open access progress in Cyprus. Thank you very much. <laughs>